All right, guys, welcome to episode 33 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key. Got John here with me. We're back with some more yo, content yo. for you guys, man. We appreciate everybody that's been liking, sh- sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. Today we have some new content for you guys, man. Yeah, we got we some We have good a special stuff. we have a special guest in the building. Um yeah, man, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, brother? Listening, man. This is Zaki, Zaki Ali, uh, the founder and creator of Inspire the Great. Just wanted to tap in with y'all, support y'all, and everything. Because if you don't network with your people, it, the followers is one thing, but networking is a whole different thing. So you got to support the people and everything. I'm a young East African brother that created one of the biggest Instagram pages. But more than that, it's, it's about connecting with the people and really um, tapping in with them to give them that energy. So that's why we're here. We're going to have a dope conversation. Also, shout out to y'all, man. 33 episodes ain't fucking easy at all. So shout out to y'all, too. Appreciate hey, it, man. brother. Appreciate it. And yeah, man, like you said, you know, you have you have a really, really fast growing page. You have over 75,000, you know, subscribers and stuff. So that that's salute, man. Salute. We see the hustle. It isn't easy at all, brother. It isn't easy at all. So we definitely salute, salute. you for that. Yeah, for, for sure, for sure. But uh, go ahead, John. Get into it with the first couple questions. Yeah, man. Um, we pretty much had, like conversations and stuff like that uh, we kind of just wanted to get into uh, we see that you're always posting positive stuff you know how to stay motivated and stuff like that uh, what are some tips that you do for yourself personally uh, you know handling negative people you know, to be honest with you um, I usually don't because my energy kind of divides it um, like if, if you're usually a positive person if you're not around it too much if you're not looking for it like if you're not giving your attention to it, usually doesn't come around like that. So when it does, I kind of don't give it attention at all. Um, having a page like mine, I, I get stupid messages, I get comments, all that stuff, right? Majority of the time, they're, they're doing that just to get a reply. Right, right. yeah. I, had this, I have this one funny story where a, a little kid, a young kid hit me up and he was, he was talking all this crazy talk about, yo, why are you posting yourself on your story? Like, we don't want to see you, everything, right? So for some reason, I just replied to him, and I'm like, yo, it's not for you. It's for the people, you know? So if you don't like it, just unfollow. Bro, do you know what this guy does? This guy goes, this young kid goes, yo, bro, I was just joking. I'm sorry. I thought you were a robot. <laughs> wow. So I'm like, yo, it got to that level. Like, Instagram got to that, to that like, it's crazy, so... More times than none, yo, like for the people listening, the negativity that comes from people is not towards you. It's just it's just something they're showing that they're going through and they don't know how to express it. Mm. So you just mm. happen to be That's the deep. one that it falls on. That's deep, yeah, man. So like right now, if I if I if I if I'm walking by you across the street and I don't know I don't know you from Adam and Eve and I say something foul to you, it's not towards you. So more times than none I just remind myself, yo, don't take it personal. Because, like, in this society we live in, we're mad sensitive. Yeah, yeah for sure, very, man. Very everybody, sensitive. Right. Everybody thinks everything revolves around them, is around, is about them. No, it's not, man. People are really going through some shit. So just allow them. You don't know who has a gun. You don't know who's at their last job. Just allow people to just say whatever they want and just walk away. Because unless they're not touching you or anything, it ain't got to be that. That's true, bro. That's wise words, for real, for real. That's wise so, words. in other words, when it comes down to negativity and negative people, you don't really deal with it. You just don't. You, you don't surround yourself with that. Right. It, it it doesn't it doesn't even make sense too because if I reply to it now, I'm that energy. I'm mm. fed into that energy, so they're winning that war. It's like a different frequency, um, you know. Right. So why why even tap into that? That's so true, I'm man. Them, like, Yo, um, I was watching a video on YouTube that um, uh, uh, a teacher was talking about bullying and teaching kids how not to get bullied, right? So when you reply to a bully, right, it gives them more energy to reply back with force. Mm. When when you give him love or when you tell him something positive, how can someone tell you something negative? They can't. They can't. And if they do, then there's something that's, you know, they have to deal with. Right, and not only that, but they just look stupid. They feel stupid. <laughs> facts. Yeah. They can't. They can't even. They can't even take it in. So if I'm telling you, yo, your shoes are dope, and you say, yo, you're fucking retarded, yo, you're, <laughs> you're an amazing person, they, it can't come out of them anymore. They're like, what the fuck is this? 
So that's true. Four times the number, bro. Just be like, yo, peace and blessings to you. May peace be upon you. I just say certain things like that, and I right. don't even go to that level, that frequency. That's, that's, yeah, that's kill him with kindness, man. That's kill true. him with kindness. Yo, yo, but, but another thing also, let's not get it twisted. Like, if it comes down to it, you're going to get handled and situated how it's supposed to be. Facts, so bro. Speak not, speak that, that truth juice, stuff, bro. Yeah. Like, all that positive stuff is cute, is adorable and everything, but don't get it twisted. We're meant before anything. Exactly. exactly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get handled accordingly, but more times than none, I just ignore it. That's yeah. what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, bro, because I, I was going through your page, and it was all positive. Everything was positive. There wasn't one oh, negative yeah. thing in that page, man, and that's what's up. Yeah. Especially nowadays when everything is so negative, you know, music, right. news, everything, e all these outlets are just putting out negativity. So it's great to right. see somebody that's out here really pushing that positive and, um, right. you know, staying consistent with it, bro, because yeah. that, that's the every key. Day. Every consistent. day he's posting stuff. Yeah, every day, every day, like, I, I scroll down. I'm going to show you guys a perspective that I come from, right? So back in the day when our parents were coming up, right? Mm -hmm. um, the world wasn't as harsh. The whole world, the universe wasn't as harsh, right? So things that were happening could, didn't get to them as much, right? right? But now in 2020, the world is so harsh that we need love or else we're all going to kill ourselves. Mm. That's crazy. There's so That's much crazy. going on. There's so much harshness. There's so much bloodshed. There's so much negativity that we need love. We need the positivity. We need the inspiration because look how many of these people are going through mental illnesses. Yeah, man. There's Seriously. There's so much people going through so much because the world is harsh, right? So yeah. at this moment right now, love is the movement. And that's the reason mm. why Drake is the most, it's the biggest thing in the world. That's yeah. Tr that's true. That's so, true. That, that's where I come from. Like, we need it at the moment. It's, it, I can be just like everyone else and follow these followers and these lost people and do all negative stuff, which I have a brand for. I have a massive brand. I have celebrities that follow my brand, right? Right, I yeah. I do negative stuff, but I'm like, yo, what does that do for me? And Nothing. also, I have, I have two boys. I have two kids. So karma might not happen to me, but what if it does to them? That's how I think about it, you know? That's how I'm karma works. With it. That's, Unfortunately, that's, that's exactly how karma works, and most people don't understand right. that. Yeah. It, it usually hits the people closest to you, not you directly. Yeah. So, it's gonna But now, nah, man, I, I salute you for being a grown man that isn't, isn't scared to, you know, show that love and show that support for other people, you know? Because everybody wants to right. be hard and be the roughest, toughest dude out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, It's not always about that. The ones that try that. Right, and the ones that try that usually ain't, though. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. a fact. man. It, it ain't about being as active tough. Because, yo, if we go to that, that's a good segue. You remember Mafia Times, right? The hardest of the hardest would respect women, would be wearing suits, helping the, the needy, everything. Right. So that's that's how I move. That's how I always grew up. Even though I'm a young kid, I always looked at, yo, I'd rather follow that than follow these, these buffoons. That are acting goofy. Like right. Nowadays, if you look at the police officers, they're all fat because niggas are doing the work for them. Mm. Damn. Mm. Police, police Damn, that's deep. That's them. deep. Yo, that's repeat deep. that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You got to say that, that one more time. Hold on. What? Say that again? Yo, so I said, yo, if you look at the police officers, you don't see any, more, any, any skinny police officers anymore. They're all fat, eating food, chilling at donut spots because they ain't working. Niggas are doing the work for them. Mm. Whether it's on the phone, whether it's on Instagram, I bet I'm gonna give you guys the example, right? There's this massive blood war in in a uh, blood gang war in New York. I don't know if you guys seen it. No, I no, haven't I heard haven't. about it. I haven't. All right, so if you guys go to YouTube, there's these fucking old heads, fam. Old heads, okay? You would think that they would stay off Instagram. These niggas are fully telling their life stories and the work they put in from jail to the streets. On Instagram live. <laughs> We're talking about 60 year old men. Like, Yo. go die or something. Corona's gonna hit you soon. <laughs> no, for real. Seriously, die or something. Like, 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 why you, why you over. exciting niggas for no reason? Facts, yeah. bro. It doesn't make sense. That's bro. ignorance, bro. though, man. We're on, man. That is stupid out here, man. It's straight ignorance, bro. We're in a different world. Yeah, seriously. Times are changing. Totally, and I don't, I don't want to be in this world, dog. I'm cool off of it. Yeah, yeah for, real. for real. I'd rather live on the outskirts of society. Shit, man. Put me on an island somewhere far away. <laughs> <laughs> That's real how I feel. Shit. That's how I feel. Real shit. But yeah, man, you said that you were a youngin', so how old are you, brother? So I just turned 28, bro. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. 
I'm only a couple years younger than you, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm about 20, to turn 26 20. and shit. Yeah, 24. But yeah, bro, that's amazing. Where the fact from? I'm from Puerto Rico, bro. We were both born in Puerto Rico. Um, and we moved over here when we were young. We moved to Florida, so we grew up in Florida. But originally Florida, from the island. Puerto Rico. What's that? The first few years, you guys grew up in Puerto Rico. Yeah, I lived there till I was like almost eight years old, and yeah. then I I moved over here. Same. I moved from uh, Africa when I was eight years old. So really? Do you think that helped you guys in in life? Like, of course, because you know, what I say is the reason why I ask is because my mentality and and how I move is also because I grew up and was born in Africa. Mm. I think if I was born in Canada and America, I wouldn't be who I am to that extent. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree with that. Growing up in Africa, you grow way faster, you know? It's, it's a bit more intense, you know? Um, you're not, like, my kids right now are in front of the, at three and one years old. They're in front of the TV eating potatoes. I never had that experience. Right. I was running the streets at three years old. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, so it's a different lifestyle. Where in America, it's like another example. At like 28, 30 years old, America will tell us, "Oh, you guys are young, live your life." But that's also another way of of sidetracking niggas so they can be lost. Mm. That's very true. Yeah, I've heard that, and that's I've actually fact. had people tell me that that is true. I agree with that, man. I feel like I feel like that by age 25, you should at least start working on something for your future. You know, right, because yo, know, what people don't understand is the energy you have from twenty to thirty, you'll never get back. Facts. That's a fact. So twenty to thirty is when America tells you you're a young party because they want you to waste that energy and they don't want black people to be successful. Mm. Mm. That's deep. They don't tell that to the white folks. Right. Yeah. Also, yeah, we were talking that. about that with my roommate the other day, man. How racism is alive and well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And right. Right. Right in front also, of our face. Right. Also, another thing you got to understand, I don't know for you guys, but like a lot of black people or even just me, I'm Somali, right? Yeah. A lot of, especially let's, just, let's say alcohol. Alcohol is, is not in our family generations. Mm. We're first generation alcoholics, right? So if we drink, it hits us on another level. Right. So like, let's say you guys, probably your parents' parents drank, right? Yeah. Maybe yeah. Not, 10, 10 generations down, a couple of generations, we don't have that. We're first generations of people drinking. So when we get drunk, I don't know if you guys know any Somalians. Somalians are everywhere in the world. You go in a hole and Somalians are there. We're pretty much everywhere in the world. Mm. But Somalians are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're hard-headed, we're, we're hotheads, we're, we're quick to it, you know? Right. Yeah. Alcohol doesn't help us at all because we're not used to it. Our body's not used to it because our family, our generations have never been. It's not in our blood. So mm. I say that to say, like, when we start drinking, it's to another level because we're not used to it. So that's what I say. Like, we, we waste a lot of time, a lot of energy on things that's not needed. And then later on at 35, 40, you don't have the energy of 20 years old. So you fuck up your life because you can't get right at that moment, you know? That's deep. Right. Man, that's deep. Yeah, that's that, really deep, brother. That was facts. I didn't even think about it in that perspective. You know what I mean? That's that's crazy. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy because I, I think about things like that. Like I have brothers and everything. I have I have homies in the streets and everything, and it's it's different, man. Like you can see white people drink and go back to work tomorrow, right? Yeah. Because they know from from when they were babies, responsible drinking has been in the household. Mm. That's we've never seen that, man. Our mm. parents have not respect. Uh, not our parents, I shouldn't say, but just our people overall. Yeah. Haven't responsibly drank around us. Haven't told us yo just a little bit of wine at a moment. Nah, we just go straight to fucking Hennessy and kill ourselves. That's true. That's Real that. Yeah, shit, I ain't gonna lie. That was me a couple months yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So and and that's a lot of people, and it's just because yo we don't know any better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We yeah, but once you know better, you do better. To it, right. Yep. Right only do better if you're exposed to things so that's why that's why i'm that's what i did the page for is to really expose people that yo life is not just about certain things that we think about it's about viewing it and and having a different perspective and exposure to life mm -hmm. yeah i feel like that's important man a lot of people don't have exposure to other cultures other parts of the world they never really right. leave where they're from and they won't they don't understand you know what I'm saying? How mm -hmm. other people are affected differently by the same things that they do. You know? Because yeah. right. you tell people here, you like, 
a lot of people might be hearing this, might be hearing you say this, and they're like, yo, that's crazy. Like, I never knew that. Like, that right. alcohol could affect other people differently. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Yeah, that's that's crazy. And, and, and they'll only understand that if someone speaks out on it, you know? Because, like, I always think about it, man. Like, my parents, right, they're still alive, they're still healthy, have never drank a day in their life. Mm. In their life, fam. And to us, or to this generation, that's like, what? Yeah, that's crazy. You know, that's like, yeah, that's like, uh, that's like, who said it? There was a, uh, it was, I forgot who was, the NBA, oh yeah, it was uh, Westbrook. Remember when Westbrook was doing the interview and he was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, when my parents, when I tell someone of my parents remember Drake, it's like that Westbrook face, like, what? <laughs> so, I say that to say, like, now, that, that doesn't mean next generation or the generation after is not going to do it. That just means they have a different time. They have different difficulties that they got to deal with, you know? When it's being advertised everywhere, it's harder to, to stay away from it. When yeah, bro. When everybody around you is doing it. It's harder to stay away from it. So it's very true. Now, now, this is where shit gets crazy. I've never drank in my life. Wow. Salute, brother. Damn. Right. Right, I've never drank in my life, I've never smoked in my life, I've never done anything in my life. Salute, so, salute. Talk, right, talk about a different level of, of militantness, you know? So mm -hmm. I just, I That's just discipline, yeah. bro. That's straight discipline. You're not discipline. just, yeah, you, you ain't just saying it just to say it. You, you, really, you really out here, you know what I mean? You're saying what right, you mean. Right, right, and we, we just, I just wanted to, not even just for, for Pete, just for myself, I wanted to be like, yo, listen, like, Many have done it. Many have followed. Many have have fallen victim to it. Yo, let me let me be different for me, right? Let me mm. go a different way because it never excited me. It doesn't do nothing for me. And also, like I had a vision since I was a little kid to be beyond successful. I want to be successful, like beyond wealthy, right? Right. And anything that affected that, I'm off of it. So mm. the streets, alcohol, um, drugs, um, women, whatever it may be that could set me up for failure, I'm like, yo, I'm cool off. Of Mm. So that's how I moved ever since I was young. And I, and I moved really militant because of the things that I watch, because of how I study things, because of my perspective of life. Like, I really see things differently. Mm. That's powerful, bro. That is powerful, bro. <laughs> that's powerful. Letting go, letting go of everything that gets in your way of your success. Right. Because, yo, at the end of the day, like, now, the homies you do it with, right, um, the city you do it in, the people that, that say they fuck with you. When you don't have success, none of them stay around. Life goes on, bro. That's a fact. We're born alone, we die alone. Like, That's right true. now, let's say let's say in grade 11, or, or as you guys say, 11th grade. I'm Canadian, so we say grade 11, right? Right. So, let's say 11th grade. If you fail 11th grade and your homies are in 11th grade with you that, that passed on to the 12th, you think they're going to stay out behind with you? Don't. don't like <laughs> Facts. Hell no. Yeah. You're going to be a bum. You're going to be the bucket of the class. You're going to stay behind. So that's, that's how life is, bro. You just got to keep it moving. Because, yo, majority of the time, like, if you look 20 years down the line, who you think is going to stay around is probably not going to be around. So that's how I see it. As harsh as it is, you know, it is what it is. You just got to take it for what it is. So me, I, I come from it with, like, a, with like the art of war mentality. Hmm. Like I, I move differently. Like I don't move with emotions. I don't move with with the meeting or or you know always thinking everything revolved around me. It's more so like yo, um, turn shit into sugar and it is what it is type of situation. Hmm. That's crazy. That's interesting, man. Yeah, That's, you're dropping gems, yeah, bro. You're dropping a lot, dropping a lot of gems. knowledge. That's, I hope I hope you I hope the viewers out there enjoy this one. No, I hope they're listening, man. Because you know, if you ain't listening to this guy right now, man, then I don't know what you're doing with your life, bro. That's Cause, a fact. Because he's speaking facts right now. That's facts, brother. That's crazy. Nah, man. Um, yeah, I can't say that, man, because you know I smoke all the time. <laughs> yeah, bro. That that's what I was gonna tell you, bro. Like. When it comes to Puerto Ricans, bro, I feel like our parents, their parents, they were drinkers. Yeah. Like, the new thing for, for us is smoking. Like, right. when you smoke in a household, in a Puerto Rican household, you're looked at like you're a junkie. Like, oh, yeah, you're horrible. Right. Yeah, you got to get out of here right. type of thing, you know? Right. Um, uh, yo, now, let me, let me give you guys a different point of view, right? Yeah. A lot of anything can be too much. Real right? talk. So... Even water, 
we need water to live, we need water to breathe, we need water to move, we need water in every aspect of life, right? Right. You drink gallons and gallons of water and you're as gonna be fucking drunk off of water. <laughs> you can't move Real shit. shit. So that's that's with everything, even success. Success being a good thing. When we think about success, we never think of fucking disasters, wars. We don't think of that. We see money, houses, cars, our families happy, all that, right? Even mm-hmm. to a certain level, if you do too much success or if you move the wrong way with success, even success can get you killed. Mm-hmm. So I say that to say it don't matter what you're into or what you're not into, just don't do too much where it affects you. So for you guys, whether it's smoking or drinking, it's cool, bro. Enjoy life. Enjoy the moments. But my thing has always been, yo, why are you enjoying it? Right? Like, enjoy it, but do it for a reason. Mm. And what I mean is, if you guys get to the 50th podcast episode, bro, drink. Right. That's a fucking, that's half of a hundred, nigga. That's, that, ain't, that ain't light work. Right. That's not easy. So have, have reasons why you're partying. Have reasons why you're enjoying the moments. Like, America is fucking up because everybody is partying every weekend and they're, they're down there homeless. Man. Yeah. <laughs> For real, the promoters are fucking broke. Yo, facts, dog. Like, I, I just don't understand. Like, I question things. I'm like, yo, you fucking half of a bucket. Like, they in the club every single night, and they ain't got shit in their life. What are you celebrating? Death? You're down there. Dying. I say that yo, all the time. What are you celebrating? Facts. Like, for real. You, People celebrate like, being broke and being, being just right. average yeah. in life. Like, yeah. Right. Popping and bottles. Instagram as if Instagram is real life, but in real life you're walking to your house. Like, come on. Facts. <laughs> you just walking to your house, trying. Right. N- nah, for real. Crazy. So there's nothing wrong with smoking. There's nothing wrong with drinking. There's nothing wrong with water. There's nothing wrong with success. There's nothing wrong with love. But too much of anything will kill you. Mm. So just balance your life. You know, balance how you move. Balance how you do things, and balance your your next move. Mm. You gotta cut everything. Gotta be for the next move. You gotta calculate the next move because now if you're jumped to this level, now it doesn't only affect this day, but it affects the next couple of days. You miss tomorrow's interview. You miss tomorrow's meeting. You you miss tomorrow's bag, and you're pretty fucked. Because how you facts. handle one thing is how you handle another. You know. Mm. That's facts, bro. You're dropping gems, man. That's Real serious, talk. man. That's some serious stuff. What you're saying, yeah. Right if now. you if you had to give if you had to give entrepreneurs out there one piece of advice to become successful, what would it be? Yo, this one will shock you guys. Will surprise you guys. It'll be stop forcing, just flow. Mm, stop forcing. Like entrepreneurs, right? Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship is used in the wrong way. It's like. Back in the day, it was called business. Mm. Now it's called entrepreneurship, right? Bro, everybody's not built like that. Facts. Just because you make an Instagram account don't mean you're an entrepreneur. Very true. This shit is, this shit is different, bro. This is lonely nights, nice, sleepless nights. Nice. This is difficulty. Entrepreneurship is my brand. Mm. Like, I've been doing it two years consistently. I post three times a day for six days a week. Mm. And I've been doing it two years consistently. I, I never asked for never money. I never asked for money, never asked for handouts, never asked for anything. I did it by myself. Didn't know how I was going to do it. Didn't know when it was going to pop off. But I just knew that's entrepreneurship, bro. Entrepreneurship is having a vision of something you can't even barely see at the moment. And then having the faith to go get it, just regardless get of it. what and anybody says. Faith to step forward to it. So I say that to say, bro, just align yourself. Mm. When when we say entrepreneurship, when we say entrepreneurs, they think something outside of themselves. No, if you're not tapped in, if you're not aligned, if you don't know who you are, nothing on the outside can, can exist or can stay. Wow. It don't matter what it is. If you grab a hold of success, if you can grab a hold of your bag, how the subconscious mind works is it tells you every reason as to what you went through and why you don't deserve it. That's real shit. That's crazy. So for the youngest listening, man, deal with yourself. If you're not giving yourself time to appreciate yourself, time to understand the past and pain that you've been through, then it's going to always remind you of that. Mm. It's never going to let you be happy. It's never going to let you be in a relationship. It's never going to let you be successful because the subconscious mind is always going to fight with you. It's the most powerful thing in the world. The mind is the most powerful thing in this world. That's real shit. People underestimate it. 
Right, and the scariest thing about it is we we barely even know how the fucking looks, yet alone mm. how it works. Facts. So you'll get a hold of your mind, man. Like, going back to the drinking, partying, everything, right? You can do all that. At the end of the night, it's just you and your fucking pillow. Right. And people don't sleep at night because that's when their fucking, that's when their mind turns on the most. When you have a little quietness, your mind just kills you. It reminds you of every reason why you should have not drank, why you should have not partied, why you should have done this and done that. And that's when suicidal thoughts happen at nighttime. So mm. deal with yourself, man. Understand yourself a little bit more. Understand the pain that you've been through, the things that you need to do to get yourself right. So that way the things that you do deserve stay in your life because then you're not fighting it off or you're not, you know, you're not uh, contradicting it with other actions. Mm. That's deep, man. That's real I'm, shit. I'm going to have to rewind and listen to that, man. Yeah, man. Gonna, There's gems in to... here. I'm going to have to come back and visit. Yeah. So, sure. so, one, so you asked one thing. Um, the word would be surrender. Surrender. Don't surrender. force things. Surrender. Right. Don't force it. Let it flow. Like if you put a, if you put water in a cup, it becomes the cup. If you put water in a bottle, it becomes the bottle, right? Right. Flow into things. Let things flow to you. Don't force them. So hmm. meditate. Head to gym. Be in good energy. Feel good. When you feel good, you 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 attract things, mm. right? Yeah. So if you pray, if you pray for something, and and then literally right after it, you worry about that. You already you already contradicted it. You canceled that out. Prayer mm. and worry can't live in the same household. Faith, bro. So pray for something, then prepare for it, then feel good about it, and know it's gonna happen. And that's how the universe it brings it to you. That's how you attract it. And mm. I'm, I'm really, I'm really good at attracting things. I see, man. Two Thank years and two years I've over seventy five thousand followers, man. That's the universe yeah. sees all, man. The universe sees all. Right. right. And yo, um, even to help you guys and to, to the listeners, right? And this is why I called. My page was at two thousand eight hundred, right? Mm. Like a, a year, less than two years ago, my page was at a thousand, uh, two thousand eight hundred followers, right? It was my page was called Hustle the Great. So it mm. used to be uh, a page. This was probably like 2017-ish, right? Yeah. So, um, 2000, beginning of 2018, end of 2017, my page was called Hustle the Gate. It used to be a, a, a knowledge-based page about Nipsey Hustle. Mm. It used to be interviews and lyrics in Nipsey Hustle. So if you go to my page and you see majority of stuff are in Nipsey Hustle, because I really fucked with him since 2011. Mm. We're not talking about Grammys. We're not talking about now. Like, I went to Nip's store in 2016 before even people knew of Nip. Right. I went back to it again 2019 after his death. 2016, I met his family at the store. 2019, wow. after the death, I was supposed to meet him 26 days after his passing. <sighs> man, that's crazy, so, man. Yeah, so it's, it's, it hit differently, bro, because... We didn't have artists. I'm not even calling him a rapper. We didn't have artists like that. Like, who was genius in the business, who were genius in the manifestation, who were tapping to the universe, who were putting good gems and, and energy into the music, right? Yeah. Instead of the fuck bitches, all that. Even though he was hood, even though we, he had good music, even though he's still street, there's so much information he gave in the music, right? So, I had a page about Nipsey Hussle. It was 2,800 followers. Now, this is for you guys, personally, for you guys as the podcast people, right? And also the people listening. I changed my page to inspire the great. So I asked myself, yo, Nip is already a business, uh, a brand, a man. How can I brand myself, right? I turned it into inspire the great. And the first thing that I did, this is for you guys. The first thing that I did is I wrote my intentions down. Mm. Write your intentions down about your, your podcast. Write oh. your intentions down about your Instagram pages. If you don't have intention behind it, then it's just whatever. You're going to get whatever you can. But mm -hmm. if you have intention behind it, the universe hears it, you, the universe feels it, and it brings you back exactly what you asked for. Not in the time that you asked for, but at the right moment where you're aligned with that. Mm -hmm. That's deep, man. That's, you know. it's, it's the most powerful thing. Because like you guys were saying... In a society, in a world where it's so easy to be negative, you got to be positive, right? In a society where it's so easy to follow, you got to be a leader. So in, in rewards to that, in in, uh, re in return for that, the universe blesses you and guides you. 
So I say that to say I wrote the intentions down. It was a little after I changed it to Inspire the Great, and I had 2,800 followers. I remember the exact date, too. It was August 31st, 2018, right? I had 2,800 followers. Bro, I'm not even kidding with you. I can show you. I still have the stats. I still have the pictures. In one month, I jumped 10K followers. Mm -hmm. Let that hit. Just because of my intentions and how pure and how how it connected with the universe. Mm -hmm. I went from 2,800 followers to 13,000 followers in one month. And ever since then, it just skyrocketed. Wow. Wow, brother. I say that to say put intention behind it and do it for, for, for value. Even if you guys are having fun on the podcast, if you guys are enjoying it, if you guys are talking about life shit, even if you put one positive intention behind it, one value, one thing that can connect with somebody and change their life for that day that can help them from stopping, stop killing themselves or stop thinking about negative stuff, if you put just a little five to ten minutes or whatever it may be in your podcast, you're doing the universe's work and the universe is going to guide you in whatever you need. Wow, that's, brother. That's, that's some deep, of the man. best advice that I've ever heard, bro. For real, for real. But put intentions behind everything. If you don't have inten- if you don't have a clear, pure intention behind it, then it just ch- like if you shoot a gun in the air, what happens? It, it ain't landing nowhere, but might come back right on your fucking head. So that's true, man. You know, actually, man. I'm sorry to cut you off, man. Cut you short, brother. But um, you know that. Man, that's I really thank you for everything that you you know you said, man, for real, because that's deep, brother. Um, we're just running out of time, man. Yeah, we're running out of time, bro. But um, we definitely, definitely appreciate you dropping the gems that you have. We appreciate you being on the show, brother. And hopefully, later in the future, we could you know meet up in person and be successful men in this world. You know what I mean? Yeah, brother. No, most definitely, man. After after this Corona stuff has happened, we gonna run around and network like we never did before. So we Bet. definitely gonna tap in, man. Word. I appreciate you guys. Continue what you're doing, and to everybody listening, man, just just continue, continue pushing. When, even when it's hard, just continue pushing because that faith that you have that you're showing is what's gonna get you where you need to be. Much respect to you guys. I appreciate you guys. You know, continue being, continue the work, and just be safe out here, man. Yes, sir. Will do, brother. You do the same, man. We appreciate you. Much love. All right, brother. Respect. 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 Peace. Yes, sir. All right, guys. You heard it here first. That's it for it, man. That's it for it, man. (laughs) We appreciate you guys fucking tuning in, rocking with us. We, We know that the video cut off, but hopefully you guys listened to the end and you picked up all these gems because he was speaking gems. So thank you guys for tuning in one more again. Woo. Peace. Peace.